Come hit us. So, a huge milestone which we just hit. 30,000 kilometers on the road. And actually only four days ago, end of June, we had our two year anniversary on the road as well. So we're starting this film with a few things to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And we actually have one more thing to celebrate. According to the sign, we are already halfway across Australia. In our opinion, I think we're probably more of a third across Australia right now. Um, but yeah, we are soon going to start the Nullarbor, which is this big region here. Nullarbor in um, Latin means no trees. And um, yeah, even though there actually are some trees, but yeah, this region is defined as the Nullarbor. And um, it's pretty exciting. At its widest point, it's um, 1,100 kilometers wide. So it's this huge stretch along the, the coast of the Australian, Great Australian Bight here um, of nothing. And um, it's gonna be pretty exciting to, to cycle along it, to cycle through it um, with also the 90 mile straight somewhere around here, which is, yeah, literally, as the name says, a 90 mile straight road. And um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Well, this is it. We are about to start our journey across the Nullarbor Plain and uh, we just arrived in Penong and here this sign warns us now that there won't be uh, any shop for the next around thousand kilometers <laughs> and uh, yeah the next proper supermarket will be in Norseman and that's around 1100 kilometers far away it's on the western end of the Nullarbor Plain <laughs> far distance still to cycle for us and uh, yesterday already we went shopping still in Seduna. Um, there was the last biggest supermarket already. And uh, here in Penang there's a smaller convenience store and we just couldn't be sure how much we would get here and how expensive it would be. So that's why I went shopping yesterday in Seduna and I bought tons of oatmeal and rice and yeah, some snacks and everything to get us through the next two weeks. And from now on there will be road houses and gas stations, um, mostly with an interval between 100 and 200 kilometers. So we will be able to get some snacks and also fill up water, but yeah, not, not much else. And it's, yeah, we're pretty excited to finally start the Nullarbor. <laughs>
up bright and early this morning just in time for the sunrise and uh, we slept at this free official campsite only 10 kilometers far away from the head of the bite and that's a small um, that's a bay at the great australian bight which is the sea in the south of australia and at the head of the bight um, you're supposed to see many whales now in winter um, many southern right whales because they yeah come there for um, breeding and carving and everything and yeah we're pretty excited to hopefully see some whales right from the coast <laughs> So here we are at the eastern end of the treeless plain of the Nullarbor Plain, the official start of the Nullarbor Plain. And we didn't think it was possible because as if somebody drew a magic line, the trees actually stopped and the Nullarbor is living up to its name. Yeah, that's pretty crazy.
my god so this is or this was now our third and final night um, camping on the Bunda cliffs here on the Nalabor and it's been pretty incredible and um, last night was uh, very special because while we were in the tent in the evening already um, this massive storm pulled up Whoa, and it's still going as you can tell oh my god i think i have to watch out the tent a bit because it's being annihilated here <laughs> and um, yeah it's, it's, it was crazy the wind is insane uh, luckily not too much rain, just a bit of a drizzle, but yeah, the wind is just absolutely crazy and we're really close to the cliff here because we, yeah, when we went to the tent the storm was nowhere to be seen, so again the weather in Australia is just so unpredictable, it's crazy and uh, yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy and today we're leaving the Bunda Cliffs and leaving the coast because the air highway which continues westward over the Nullivore goes away from the coast a bit and um, soon in about 60 kilometers we're going to reach Western Australia, the border between South Australia and Western Australia and um, yeah, hopefully we'll leave a bit of this crazy wind behind us as well. Oh my god. We are getting very close to the border to Western Australia now and like at the previous state borders here in Australia there are very strict quarantine rules um, they're especially about fruits and the containment of fruit flies and uh, yeah we don't have fruit anyway <laughs> because we haven't been able to go to a proper grocery store or supermarket within the last week, so no worries for us. shelter now under some bushes here and just stopped cycling for today because we didn't get any further and it really looked like rain and it's actually raining right now so it was a good decision to stay here and just cook already. So we've come pretty far in the last week since crossing to Western Australia 
We just reached the end of the 90 mile straight, Australia's longest straight road with uh, almost yeah, 150 kilometers, meaning we are about to turn our first corner there within almost two days. <laughs> and we're actually in the most remote stretch of our crossing um, of the Nullarbor. We are about to reach the um, Baladonia Roadhouse in yeah, 30 kilometers. And uh, that's the only roadhouse within almost 400 kilometers. And it will be the last one before we then finally reach Norseman, hopefully um, in yeah two days. So three days left of cycling, including today. <laughs> Pretty exciting. We're almost done. Yeah, it just feels crazy. <laughs> It's been exactly two weeks since we left Seduna, the town to the east of the Nullarbor Plain. And now we are here, um, 70 kilometers from Norseman, the end, uh, the, the first big town now again, and the end of the Nullarbor Plain, the western end. And yeah, where this is our last night camping. And we just wanted to give a little conclusion to our uh, two week adventure across um, the Nullarbor. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. We've had some pretty interesting experiences, especially camping and just cycling along the Bunda Cliffs was absolutely amazing. I think yeah. we haven't really had anything like that before on this journey, um, mm -hmm. not exactly like that anyway. And it was yeah, a pretty unique experience and also seeing Southern right whales and so on. It was, yeah. it was pretty yeah. cool and a pretty yeah. nice to cycle in winter to see them yeah. as well. And um, yeah, it's really really been an enjoyable ride especially also fairly easy thanks to all the road houses every 50 to 200 kilometers essentially um, which have really made getting across the Nullarbor pretty easy and pretty um, comfort comfortable because um, not only could you get a proper meal every now and then and at, towards the end we did indulge in the one or <laughs> other uh, big burger with some wedges um, but yeah, you could also technically have showers, get accommodation. Most of them actually have our motels as well. So mm. yeah, it's really been been a nice experience. Yeah. But, and there is a but, we at least have to talk about because yeah. it does seem to be a general misconception, at least amongst many of the people that we talked to beforehand. The air highway going across the Nullarbor here is really busy. Yeah. It is really, really busy. You have dozens and dozens of cars passing you every day, maybe on some days even hundreds of cars. Um, it felt like it was a bit busier, more still towards the east of the Nullarbor. And um, not that we had any bad experiences, all the drivers were really good to be honest. Yeah. Um, really can't say anything negative about that but generally it's really busy and even though you are in a remote region here um, yeah it's just really important to keep that in mind it's still a highway you're not in the middle of nowhere really um, yeah nevertheless um, it's been a great experience we really loved it and we'll see you in the next video <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
super Timing, drei Trucks hintereinander. <lacht> 